What's going on guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Go adventure with a sling. Alright, in today's video I'm here in Blackheath, apparently this is the best Charmander nest or one of the best ones in London. Uh, I haven't actually been here yet, it's really close to Greenwich so I'm probably going to walk up on the park and reach Greenwich eventually. But my main goal for this video is to find as many Charmanders as I can. So look at this, it's just like an open field, look at that. It's huge. Alright, let's go around and see what we find and I'm going to take you guys with me. Let's do this. Say that it feels right. Okay guys, the first Charmander of the day, it's only a 35 CP Charmander, but it is pretty... Oh, okay, 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 wait, I'm gonna raspberry this guy, first of all, I must not forget that. I wanna catch as many as I can, so I can definitely evolve this into a Charizard, hopefully. I'm gonna use a Great Ball on this guy, because it's only a 35 CP, come on. Come on, oh, that was a really bad throw, but at least I got it in. Come on, that was one, that was two, that was three, okay, amazing. The first Charmander of the day was caught. Easy catch, but I'm sure I'm gonna find a lot more around here. There's another one lurking about, so I'm gonna go look for that as well. Okay guys, there we go. Second Charmander of the day, 274 CP Charmander. So I'm gonna raspberry this guy again. So this is the whole point of this video, is to get these candies going, because I don't have that many. No wait, not an Ultra Ball. I'm gonna use a Great Ball. Ooh, what a terrible throw. Okay, I'm, my, I'm gonna use an Ultra Ball if this fails, because this guy could be quite hard to catch, but wait, hold on. Oh, there we go. First catch, yes. First try, I mean, sorry. Okay, let's keep on going. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more. Let's... Oh, actually, before I do that, guys, look what I found from the latest, after the latest video that I posted. Okay, look at that. A freaking Vaporeon. You know how I wasn't able to catch the Vaporeon in Kyoto Gardens? Well, I went back again to get more candies for the Bulbasaur. My phone was dead, so I wasn't actually able to record anything, but. I came across the Vaporeon, it was like 1300 something Vaporeon. I powered this guy up until 1683. So this is my, by far my strongest Pokemon now. And um, yeah, it's an amazing one. Anyway, I just thought I wanted to share that with you guys. Here we go, as I told you guys, another Charmander. So this is the third one already. To find these Charmanders, I'm using the app Poke Alert. It tells me how long it's gonna stay in the spot, when did it spawn, it's amazing. So I'm going around this park using Poke Alert. This is a free 10. CP Charmander. I'm gonna raspberry this guy. I'm gonna use an Ultra Ball just to be safe because this was actually a bit stronger than... Come on. Yes, nice throw. It was a bit stronger than the last one already. My strongest one is a 520 CP. Oh, what? Okay, okay. Don't panic. I'm gonna raspberry this guy again. Come on, we can definitely do it. Don't... Okay, nice throw. Come on. I think I already have enough candies to evolve into a Charmeleon, but I definitely want to get that Charizard. Oh man, don't, don't make me sweat like that, come on. I'm using an Ultra Ball, I'm raspberry you. Okay, great throw, yes, okay, higher chances. I should probably use the Curve Balls as well, because they do add to your chances. But, oh, no, no, okay, 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 wait, I need to raspberry this guy again. This, this is going to be bitchy, look at this. Okay, yeah, nice throw with a Curve Ball. With an Ultra Ball. Okay, let's see, come on. One, two, three! Okay, we got it, nice one. I think there was a Kakuna lurking about, which I'm probably gonna catch, I already have that, but I might just get it just in case. Okay, so here we go. The Kakuna I was talking about, it's a 128 CP Kakuna. So, uh, pff, I mean, great baller, why not? It's not like I need this, what are you doing, mate? Hardening? It's not like I need this Pokemon, but I wanna get some more Stardust, because I've been using a lot of Stardust for that Vaporeon that I showed you guys before, because I it, it, like gets for each power up he gets like 40 CP, so it's actually amazing. Like I was able to power him up with like 20 candies from 1300 to almost 1700, as you guys saw. Okay, so we got the Kakuna. That was pretty easy. Let's move on. Okay, so look at this. I found that Charmander. You see that church there? So it's right by that. It's pretty cool this park, I have to say. So it's a 152 CP Charmander. So a lot less powerful than the ones I found before, but still definitely interested in catching it. Come on, great ball, great throw with a great ball. Hopefully we're gonna get it. This park is pretty amazing. It's quite nice actually today. It's pretty warm. It's very warm actually, I have to say. Yes, we caught it. So it's very warm here in London. That's why I'm out here taking advantage of this because you never know when this is gonna happen again in London. All right, amazing. Let's keep going. So I had to include at least one PJ in this video, right? It has to be. So there we go. Uh, once, oh, what the hell? A uh, 178 CP PJ. 
I'm gonna catch you with a Pokeball because come on, I don't need to waste a Great Ball on a freaking PJ. But come on, let's do this. Okay, so we caught the PJ as well. There's a few lure models. We eh, sorry, Pokestops. We have a few lure models on. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna hang around here or like actually go and look for more matchups in Charmander. Okay, up next is a Widow. It's a 106p Widow. I'm just gonna catch it for the sake of the Stardust, as I was saying again. So I think I've only got about 21,000. So that's pretty much nothing. St Stardust. Oh what? <laughs> this Widow actually dared escaping on me. How dare he? Anyway, so this PJ came across, so I'm gonna catch this PJ. Um, otherwise, this video is just gonna be <laughs> literally Charmander's. Actually, I got a PJ before anyway, but. Uh, okay, how did that freaking Widow dare escaping on me? That's insane. Okay, we got that PJ. Next is a Rattata that appeared. I'm gonna catch it again. Um, actually, I have a lot of evolution saved up for you guys. I might do a lot of them in this, well not a lot of them, but a few of them in this video. I have a full on, I have a full on Venusaur evolution that I can do. I got a 655 CP Bulbasaur, I got 132 candies, and that's thing gonna evolve that into a Venusaur. Probably the end of this video, so make sure to stay tuned. And we caught the, yeah we caught the rest of that, amazing. Okay guys, 7th Charmander of the day, if I'm counting them correctly. So, Raspberry in this guy, the usual procedure. I don't want this guy to escape. It's a 4, hold on, Ultra Ball, 483 CP Charmander. Come on, great throw, great Ultra Ball throw, okay. It's pretty, it's pretty nice, such a nice day, look at that. Ooh, wait, the Pokemon broke free. Come on, another Raspberry. I am ready for you, come on. Oh, terrible throw, but at least I got it in there. Come on, one, give me a two, give me a three, yes. Okay, so, so far, no Charmanders have escaped. There's another one in front of me, which I'm gonna go get, just on there. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to catch all of them. Okay guys, what did I tell you? Literally one after the other. This is a 471 CP um, Charmander, again. I think my eighth one, uh, I'm gonna definitely use one of these Ultra Balls. Okay, I've only got, come on, don't fail, yes. I've only got 30, I think 29 with this one. Ultra Balls left, so. I think it'll be enough. Yes, okay, come on. I'm definitely gonna use all of them on the Charmanders because I wanna catch all of them. Um, for the matchups, which I'm gonna go and look for them later, I think a Great Ball will do anyway. 